The first wreck is near the peninsula I showed in an earlier video. Uh, with a little hairpin turn near all the scrambled highways, too many roads in Hawaii, I must say. Anyways, take a look at this. Uh, head south down the road until the road starts turning. Instead of turning, you just keep going straight. Uh, and the wreck is hiding behind a tree. I actually turned too early this time. You can actually go past the tree and it's right there sitting on the side of the road. And that is one out of ten. This next wreck can be found at the southern westernmost point on the island and near the uh, Makapu Meditations house, which you can purchase. Uh, and as you can see, there's a little lighthouse path next to it, and that's where you're going to go. It's going to be sitting right on that path. So head towards the house until you see a dirt path, which is right there on the left. So I go up the path, and there it is. Uh, there's actually a photo point past it, which I cover in another video if you want to watch that. And that is 2 out of 10. This next one is near the Humahulia Paradise residence, which you can also purchase. Um, and see, it's near this little cul-de-sac thing. And I'm going to show you where the house is actually right now. There it is. Uh, and it's fairly close to it. Just stay on the road where my car is currently on and head north. And then after a few buildings, the one with the three stories, that's where it is. And there's a little car park behind it. And it should be sitting right on that car park. There you go. And that is 3 out of 10. This next one is in the uh, southern part of the island. Near that crater sort of thing. Uh, and as you can see there's two roads that split off. And I'm going to take that road right there. That goes west I believe. Yes. Uh, so head north a little bit until you see those palm trees. And it's going to be behind those palm trees. So I'm going to weave into those palm trees. There you go. Uh, and there it is. That's 4 out of 10. This next one is actually basically inside that crater I just showed in the previous clip. Uh, and there's a tunnel leading into the crater, so what you're going to do is take that tunnel, head west, and then once you're outside of the tunnel, you're going to turn to the right and do a sort of like a U-turn from the tunnel, and that's where it's going to be. So here we go. I'm going to show you that. I'm inside the tunnel. I'm heading west. And then once I'm outside the tunnel, I'm going to turn right. Or left. Oh, I always get those directions wrong. Anyways, there it is. 5 out of 10. <laughs> this next one is actually just north of that crater I just showed. Uh, and there's going to be two sort of squiggly paths that turn left and right. And what you're going to do is you're not going to take any of them and you're just head straight in between. And it's going to be down that little hill in between the two of them. So here we go. I'm going to show you that. There we go, not taking left or right, going straight, and there it is. That's 6 out of 10. This next one is in a jumbled mess of highways. Uh, so, I'm going to try and show you exactly where it is. As you can see, there's a little highway up north. Uh, so I suggest taking that, heading west, doing the loop, as I'm showing you right now, and then it should be right there. So keep going, follow the road right off the side. And that is 7 out of 10. This next one is on a little island, industrial island sort of thing, is uh, right there. And what you're going to do is take the road and head south. Eventually you're going to have to turn right. Got to get my directions correct. So anyways, here we go, heading south. And then after the wall, you turn right. And there you have it. That's 8 out of 10. This next one is a little bit northwest of that island I last showed you. It's right beside the airport. Uh, there's the airport I'm showing you. And, uh, and then there's some sort of like little deviations in the road. Uh, so you're going to head to the um, rightmost one. And then just head straight basically just watch the clip and that is going to be nine out of ten wrecks in Hawaii area four there you go and now for the final wreck it's gonna be south of the island zoom in until you see that little peninsula of um, sand there it is it's gonna be at the most extremity of it zoom in um, I actually do make a mistake here. I'm actually going to drive to it in the Ariel Adams V8 
500 V8. It's um, the car you get if you finish all of the championships in the game. Fairly difficult to obtain, but yeah, it's a nice car. Probably not for off-roading, I'm doing this wrong, obviously. And I actually fall in the water here, because I turned too, too soon. You shouldn't turn, you just, should just keep going past the trees. I actually thought it was right here. Um, so here we go. It's right there. Actually, don't fall in the water. That was something I did earlier until I refilmed this clip. So there you go, that's the final one. And now I'm going to show you the reward you get for it. If you don't want to see the reward right now, since it's kind of a spoiler, you can click on the screen right now and I'll take you back to the menu where you can select another video. If not, here we go. Here's the reward. And the reward is a 6,997cc V8 410 brake horsepower engine AC Cobra. 427 with a top speed of 266 kilometers per hour 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds this is a really really cool classic car I think it's pretty neat um, unfortunately you can't actually use it in tournaments since it's a class C2 and the highest C class you can use in tournaments is a C3 nonetheless still very awesome car Alright, well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to take a look at the other videos in this series, you can click right now on the screen, and it'll take you back to the menu where you can select other videos, or you can find the wrecks in Ibiza, Hawaii, and the other photo locations. Alright, thank you very much.